Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, so today is a very, very different video. This is a highly, highly requested video from TikTok and I decided to um, make it into a YouTube video because I definitely would not be able to cram all the information into a one minute video for TikTok. So um, if you hear from TikTok, let me know, comment below. Hey y'all. So um, I'm real quick, I'm just gonna give y'all, cause I had a whole bunch of questions. So I'm gonna try to go through the, um, the most questions that I've seen or try to get through every question. There was so many um, comments and stuff. So I'm gonna try to get through the, the um, most important questions that I saw. So um, first and foremost, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I have been licensed for almost two years now, but I've been doing hair since I was 12 years old. Yes, I said 12. Actually, I've been doing hair since I was five. So if you go all the way back and go to my first video on here, it'll tell y'all a bit about me and my uh, career, what I do for a living. Um, I specialize in healthy hair. I'm not just any um, licensed cosmetologist. I specialize in healthy hair. So um, you will um, know some things or know how to take care of your hair from watching this video, I guess, and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to get y'all y'all basically wanted to know about my daughter because of her hair or whatever so i'm gonna give you all as much knowledge as i can about that um a disclaimer everyone's hair is different so um i can't tell you exactly what you can do with your child's hair if it's a different texture only thing i can tell you is the products that i've used for her hair and even her hair alone my hair as well i went through because um i recently not recently but like three years ago it's been three years i went natural whereas i don't put any chemicals in my hair only natural hairstyles you know and protective styles and different things like that and i don't wear heat a lot i wear heat maybe three to four times a year and that's just to get her my regular trim so um and then with her hair she's only a one one and a half a little over one and a half and i've been growing not growing her she had hair but i've been maintaining her growth since she was born so the products that i use i've been through products it's not like these are the products that i've used since she was born you have to go through products and a bunch of money in order to get what's right for that person head and that's for any client any stylist any person everybody hair texture is different i'm only going to be able to give y'all what i use for your hair and you can try these products out these are not to say that they will or will not work for your hair you have to try them out like i said i've been through lots of money and lots of products trying different products for her hair as well as mine so um i had a lot of questions on her wash her shampoo it's called a shampoo not a wash a lot of people say wash that's why i say wash but the correct term is shampoo um i shampoo my daughter's hair every two weeks um mm, I don't let it go over or less. I really try to do it every two weeks. And I do her hair every week, which is not a good good thing. But with her hair texture, I have to because it's already by the, the sixth day of the week. It's already messed up, frizzy, and needs to come out. It looks terrible. So I have to do her hair every week. So that's why I try to do. And, and most of the times I try to do styles that last her a bit of a time. So that I don't have to. I thought I could refrain from doing her hair every week because... I noticed that when I was doing my hair, but it may be because I was putting a lot of heat in my hair back in the day. So I was doing my hair like every week for school or something and my hair just fell out tremendously. I don't feel like putting your hands in a person's head that often or putting combs and brushes to the head that often is needed. Um, I'm not sure if it, it'll do damage to everyone's hair, but I saw that it did damage to my hair. So I try to refrain from doing that. So I try to, I can't refrain from doing that with her hair because she's a baby and she messes her hair up quickly and she got to have her hair done. So I do shampoo her hair every two weeks and this is the shampoo that I use. I also use a different one, but lately she ran out of the other one. So I've been using this one. This is Miel Products. Um, Y'all can probably see it. Um, I use shampoo. I don't use the conditioner for her. I use it for my own hair. Only reason I don't use the conditioner for her is because I normally shampoo her hair while she's in the tub. And I don't want to go through that process of rinsing that shampoo out in that dirty water. And I never washed her hair and like just having her laying down in the sink because she's still a toddler. And I don't know if she's going to lay there the right way or how she do. So I haven't done that yet. And with her hair texture, she does not need that kind of conditioner for real yet. I just use leave-in conditioner. So, um, the leave-in conditioner that I use 
This is a product that's specially made in the black owned business and um, I actually went to school with her and it's not zoom, it's not, uh, let's see if it'll, there you go. Um, it's called Hair Magic. I'll put um, her Instagram in the description so you can order her products online and um, I actually went to school with her. I've actually been using her products on my hair since she started her um, hair business which was maybe like five or six years ago. I'm not sure but she has really good products and they're all they have no alcohol in them so that's the biggest thing when it comes to my daughter hair I try to use anything that does not require alcohol same with my hair now sometimes I do use a little edge control but I got thick hair and um my hair be needing to be slicked a little more because I don't use heat with every style I just had a wrap recently so that's why my hair is straight so yes um her products come with no um alcohol so that's why i use them in my daughter hair now i only use a few of them she has a shampoo and she has conditioner she has literally almost a whole line of things um if y'all want a description of that stuff and what i use for my hair from her that i don't use on my daughter hair then let me know but what i do use on my daughter hair is the leave-in conditioner and her oil and her grease and i'll get to those in a moment um her shampoo the reason that i don't use it on my daughter here because it's like a tingly sensation in it and um i use it on another kid before i've never used it on my daughter before but i did use it on a kid when i did um, um their hair at the salon and they didn't like it it was like they felt like it was burning more so than tingling because it's a kid so i just I mean, could only imagine what and she was six so i can only imagine with my one year old how she would be feeling and i don't want it uncomfortable so yeah i'll get to the grease and oil in a minute now a lot of people ask me why does she sit still and things like that my daughter has been getting her hair done since she was about three months old i'm gonna try to insert a picture of when i first put ponytails in her hair um they wasn't real so i also when she was first um born or not born but when she was a couple months old i made sure i refrained from using black rubber bands i only use those colorful rubber bands that's like a little more stretchier because i didn't want her hair to be breaking off and it, it, it to be too tight or anything and they was just play ponytails i just would do some in there because her hair was so long already i just did some in there um so make sure y'all if your baby is you you still young under one refrain from those rubber bands my preference if you okay with and if you do prefer the black ones because they hold depending on the length of your baby hair i would put them in oil first so i will oil the rubber bands up and then put them in the hair and try to like when you oil in the hair kind of keep those rubber bands oiled so that your hair does not break off inside those rubber bands so that's a tip that i can say if you do want to use the black rubber bands but like i said i've been doing her hair since she was like three months old and she literally um I made it comfortable for her and what I say is what I mean by that is I have a little girl so hand, hair getting done is mandatory so I wanted to make sure that she was always comfortable and that it did not hurt so I made sure that I've always detangled her hair detangling is very much so necessary and very important with babies in general or kids in general you always want to if you watch shampoo their hair that night and you're not going to plan on doing it that night I never blow dry her hair as well so this is a good tip um if you're going to shampoo their hair at night and you're not going to do it till like a day or maybe two three days later or whatever always braid their hair i braid her hair every single time i shampoo her hair not so much now because she's older and and her hair texture is so fine all i got to do is put some leave in in there and it'll you know curl up and, it, and it, the comb doesn't hurt her going through it um and i also use some other stuff that i'll show y'all but um you always want to braid it you want to keep it from getting um i call my bad you want to keep it from getting tangled or nappy depending on your kids hair texture my daughters necessarily get tangled not so much nappy so you want to keep it from getting that way because when you have to go in and comb it out that'll hurt and you don't want them to feel pain because then they'll that'll make them feel like every single time they get their hair done it's going to be painful that one time can do that so you don't want to do that with them also you also want to use some type of moisturizer in their hair no matter what do not do your kids hair dry please do not do that if you gotta oil it if you gotta put some pudding in there i'll show y'all the ones that i use um some detangling spray i've used that before i don't really use it much um anything anything you could do but make sure that hair is moist 
and do not do it dry. So those um, those are the things that I did with her growing up. So my daughter never, not one time cried when she got her hair done, not once. I've never had her cry. Moving, of course, she's a kid. So to entertain them, because y'all asked me why she was sitting there and not doing nothing, entertainment. I've always had the TV on. When she was a baby, I had the TV on or I put the barrette bucket in front of her and let her play with it as a baby. So I will always let her play with those. And of course, you got to watch them and be careful because they will put things in their mouth. So of course, you got to be paying attention. Mamas can do it. We do 16 things at once. So make sure you're paying attention because she did have the little barrettes. She's never put them in her mouth. She more so just played with them. Um, but they are little, so you got to be careful with them because they swallow one and you be in emergency. So always put something in front of them to entertain them so they don't feel it. Because once, mind you, if you're putting these oils and stuff in their hair while they're sitting there, they don't feel you back here. So they just going to be focused on this. So if a kid, you know they have a short attention span, so they'll focus on what's in front of them versus what's going on behind them. So always put something in front of her, them however old your kid is so up until my daughter got older she ended up getting an um, ipad so she started to watch her ipad so she'll watch her ipad if it's lunchtime depending on what time i do her hair and which is normally after she wake up from her nap i'm gonna get into the reason why i do that as well but when she wake up from her nap i make sure i have her lunch already ready and then her ipad already ready and then we sit there i don't even let her play with the breasts no more because she throws them all on the floor and i don't be feeling like picking them up so i don't let her play with the breasts at all <laughs> I just give her her iPad and let her eat or do her thing or whatever. She never cries. She sit there, as y'all can see in the uh, TikTok video, she just sits there. She does not do anything. So, um, what was the point that I was about to say? Oh, the reason that I do her hair at those times. I don't. I try to be careful with my baby hair because um, you don't know how tight you're doing the ponytails because they're a baby and they can't say mommy is too tight. And I try to not do them tight, but I also try to do them tight enough so that they don't get loose quick or so they don't come out quick. So what I try to do is I do not do her hair before she go to sleep. I did before a couple times and her sleeping, she just kept moving in her sleep. And I felt like her ponytails was maybe too tight or something. Because you know how you get that fresh hair doing, you can't really lay on them. So I want her to get a good night's sleep. So I do not do her hair at night anymore at all. Um, before she go to the bed unless she's getting some quick braids for the next day or like a quick ponytail for the next day just something lightly I don't do too much where she can't go to sleep so I do not do her hair at night and I try not to do it before her nap time her nap time every day is at 12 o'clock so I try to do her hair when she wake up at 2 p.m. so that she'll go out through the day and if her head is sore it'll kind of loosen up throughout the day because you know they wild they like bang their head on big uh, beds and all that stuff so it had been a loosened up body and then since then she has not um um complained or moved around a lot basically in her sleep so if i was you guys i would try to refrain from doing their hair at night before they go to bed because you just want them to sleep comfortably and you don't want to have to keep getting up to 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 soothe them back to sleep or whatever the case may be because you don't know of course like my daughter she can't tell me mommy it hurts so i just try to refrain from that so that's another thing and then um I start getting into the products that I use for her hair. And if anything, anything that I left out, just comment below and I'll do it. If it's um, if it's a lot, then I'll do them um, on YouTube. But if it's small, I'll just do them on TikTok. So make sure y'all follow me on both. Subscribe to this channel and then make sure you're on TikTok. So like I said, this is a leave-in conditioner. Um, it says, looking to reconstruct your curl pattern. Look no further. Just a palm full of leave-in conditioner in your normal daily routine will change your life after applying seal and moisture with all your natural nourishing oils so um i actually never read this y'all but here are the ingredients rose water aloe water mineral oil petromium peppermint glycerin um behetrillium um methosulfate a lot of other big words that i can't say tea tree leaf oil um hydrolyzed wheat protein hydrolyzed mm -hmm vegetable protein something something and some oil so it's no alcohol in this at all which is what i love the most and i love to refrain from any using anything with alcohol so i'm gonna show you all her products first that i use on my daughter here so this is the leave-in conditioner this is the magic hair oil and it says lightweight nourishing oil is one of a kind the perfect sealant while stimulating your scalp and training your hair and produce its own oil resulting in rapid hair growth it got vitamin e vitamin c morella oil cedarwood aloe rose water clary sake um, almond oil macaron argan oil tea tree 
and Jabba Ju Jojoba and no alcohol as y'all can see so that's another product that I use also the grease mind y'all that her products are very um expensive they're not the regular prices you'll see at a uh, beauty supply or something like that so be mindful but hey if you want your kids hair to grow you'll spend extra coins um, I'm not going to read this one because it's basically the same, you know, the, the natural vitamins. And it says, can be used for ages six months plus. I was actually using it on my daughter's hair way before. I don't know the, um, because I, I, I never read these labels, y'all. But um, I think it should be okay. If you if you want, you can ask her. You can DM her, DM her on her Instagram that I'm going to put below. Um, I might put it across the screen, too. If it's, if, if, if I put it across the screen, y'all see it. But, um, yeah, so I use the oil and the grease. And I use these immediately following after her hair. And then, honestly, when I remember, I grease and oil her hair. It don't be, I don't have a certain days that I oil it or how many days after. When I remember, her hair stays oily anyway. So she's not a person who gets dry scalp a lot. If your child is a child that gets dry scalp a lot, you might want to use it a little bit more often. Maybe once or twice a day. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is the shampoo um, that I use. So, um, I recently tried this out. I don't use it all the time, but like I said, you want to keep the hair moist when you're about to comb it. So if, if her hair is ever tangled, I'll grab a, a scoop full of this and I'll use it in her hair. Again, this does not have alcohol. I sat there and tried to read the whole thing while I was in the thing and I didn't see any signs of alcohol. But if y'all see it, make sure y'all let me know. I did not see it. This as well, I don't use much of this. Now, um, I can say that this one, my cousin used for her daughter here and she said that it broke her daughter's hair off. She didn't like it. Her daughter and my daughter actually have kind of the same texture here, but it did not break my daughter's hair off. I, I've used it for the last, since she was young and it did fine for my daughter and I don't know if maybe it was a bad batch that she got or whatever but I do use this and this is like a edge control basically so I use this on her edges to kind of make the ponytail slip down and be neat because of course you can't do it with grease or oil because those are you know more hydrating to the scalp this is what I use to kind of make them little you know make it look neat or whatever the case may be so this is why her ponytails would be so neat I also use this. Now, this is another um, hair magic product, but this is very, very, very old. I had bought it a long, 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 long time ago, and I never use it on my hair because I didn't like it on my hair. It made my hair feel really thick, but I use it on my daughter's hair. I use it as a, um, a more like a sealant, like a, like a sealant, basically, because it's like a, it's like a, um, what can I say it's like? It's almost gone now, but y'all can see. It's like a jelly, but it's more of a thicker substance than jelly. And um, it says smooth split ends and conditions. Um, yeah, so basically it's smooth split ends. That's all I basically see here. So yeah, I use this on her hair as well. So those are all the products that I use on her hair. I also wanted to talk about somebody commenting and said that I needed to trim my daughter's ends. Now, my feeling on trimming hair with babies, I don't feel like it's necessary um the hair that grows from so when your baby is first born that first layer of hair you get doesn't always stick sometimes it always falls out as the growth process go on and different stuff like that and my camera about to die so i gotta hurry up so with the different stuff like that um i just don't feel the need to trim my daughter my daughter's hair i don't feel the need to trim any baby's hair but it all depends on your child my child i don't feel like she needs a trim at the moment when she turns maybe two or three years old then i'll think about that then but it will also depend on her hair i feel like it depends on the growth of your child's hair and how their hair is growing and things like that now i'm i'm all for um trimming hair so i make sure i definitely recommend trimming hair but not for my daughter at the moment so um you just have to go off of your child and what's best for them and their needs so like i said these products are what i use for my daughter here now i'm not saying that they will work for yours or you would it, it won't so you have to pay attention and just pay attention to your child's hair and the growth of their hair and how their hair is being maintained and things like that because every it fluctuates with every person because every person is different every hair texture is different so you have to go off of that 
it looks like I covered just about anything but if y'all if I didn't and you have questions about anything else if I can answer them quickly I'll just reply to you if it's a multitude of questions where I have to do another video I'll either do them here so make sure y'all please subscribe to my channel I'm almost at 400 subscribers I'm not almost there but I'll be there in a minute if y'all keep subscribing and then make sure y'all follow me on TikTok and my other social medias they will be in the description below and make sure y'all watch all my other videos they're very entertaining and like I said whatever y'all would like to see just let me know and i'll get them out for y'all so again thank y'all for coming to my channel and watching this video i really appreciate the 400 and almost 50,000 people that watched her video and loved it i really appreciate it i honestly didn't know it was gonna get that much attention but i am grateful for it and i'm always here to help like i said i'm a licensed cosmetologist so anything you guys would like to know that i can actually help you with over camera just let me know and I'll tell you. So thank you guys and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.